Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss the ferromagnetism concept. As we know, if the dipole moments in a material lines themselves up in parallel to each other, then the material is known as ferromagnetic material. The ferromagnetic material have a strong interatomic interaction due to which they exhibit an ordered magnetism. Means if the ferromagnetism material is placed in a magnetic field, then the dispersed magnetic dipoles are converted into the parallel structure of magnetic moments. According to that, the magnetic flux lines flowing from N to S, they are structured in parallel manner. As we know, in the absence of a magnetic field, the ferromagnetism, it behaves in a dispersed manner, in a disordered manner, but when it comes in the presence of a magnetic field, then the magnetic dipole moments structure is converted into an parallel structure or it will become in the parallel position. Now both the paramagnetic and diamagnetic materials are considered as non-magnetic because they exhibit magnetization only in presence of an Field. In that certain materials possesses permanent magnetic moments even in the absence of an external field which results of permanent unpaired dipoles formed from unfilled energy levels. Now these dipoles can easily line up with the imposed magnetic field and due to that, the exchange interaction of mutual reinforcement of the dipoles, these are characteristic of the ferromagnetism material. Now, the materials with ferromagnetism should be consist of ferrous, copper, cadmium, neon, possesses the magnetic susceptibilities approaching 10 to minus 6. Now, in above the Curie temperature, ferromagnetic materials behave as paramagnetic material and their susceptibility is given by the curie wave law, which defines as Xm is equal to C upon T minus Tc where the C is nothing but the material constant, the capital T is nothing but the temperature and Tc is nothing but the Curie temperature. Now the ferromagnets are very strong in nature. Their dipoles are lines up permanently upon the application of external field and has the two subclasses which are known as anti-ferromagnetism and ferromagnetism. Now, this is the structure of anti-ferromagnetism. As shown in the figure, if the neighboring dipole moments are aligned in anti-parallel, then the material is known as anti-ferromagnetism material. And this phenomenon of magnetic dipole moments getting aligned in an anti-parallel manner is known as the anti-ferromagnetism. In this structure, the figure A should be called, so it should be shows the ferromagnetic material, whereas the figure B it shows the anti-ferromagnetic material structure. In the 
ferromagnetic material a large resultant magnetism is observed but in antiferromagnetic material the resultant magnetic the resultant magnetism is zero in the ferromagnetic material if there are four atoms per molecule then the molecular moment will be four times the atomic moment but in antiferromagnetic material the molecular moment will be zero and therefore the spontaneous magnetism will be absent now in a figure b you uh, just observe that the magnetic dipole moments which are uh, placed between the particular structure it will be having the opposite direction to the each other and because of that it should be called as the anti ferromagnetism or anti ferromagnetic materials with each other now in this type of material the dipoles are lined up but in opposite directions the resulting in a zero magnetism the examples for anti ferromagnetism materials are the magnesium chromium that is nothing but r mno nio coo mncl2 now if we exchange the interaction which is responsible for parallel alignment of a spin is extremely sensitive to interatomic spacing and to the atomic position this sensitivity causes anti parallel alignment of a spin when the parallel alignment of particular structure of a dipole moment is to be there then the alignment of spin is extremely sensitive to the interatomic structure that is nothing but the spacing between the two orbits and due to that the atomic positions of an atoms they should be having the higher sensitivity which causes the anti parallel alignment of a spin when the strength of anti parallel spin magnetic moment is equal no net spin moment exists and the resulting susceptibilities are quite small when the strength of anti parallel spin of magnetic moments which is equal having no net spin moment exists and therefore this resulting susceptibilities are quite small one noticeable characteristics of anti ferromagnetic material is that they attain maximum susceptibility at a critical temperature called nil temperature and at temperatures above this is anti ferromagnets becomes an paramagnet means what the magnetic material properties which should be depends upon the temperature is showing that when the anti ferromagnetic material is having the maximum susceptibility up to the critical temperature only which is called as the mean temperature and above that particular temperature the anti ferromagnetic material should be converts its behavior to the paramagnetic material the next one is nothing but the ferromagnetic material if the order of the magnetic moments is shown in figure number 
that is nothing but ferrimagnetic material. The material is known as the ferrimagnetic. In this, the value of molecular moment of ferrimagnetic material is in between that of the antiferromagnetic material and ferromagnetic material. The arrangement of magnetic dipole moments of the ferromagnetic material is shown in the figure. Now, as we know, we have discussed about the ferromagnetic antiferromagnetic and paramagnetic material the ferrimagnetic material is having the magnetic dipole moment direction same as that of antiferromagnetic material that should be nothing but the opposite to the each other but the difference is that in antiferromagnetic material the presence of such a dipole moment are near to each other which are having the opposite spin of that particular molecule but in ferromagnetic material the resultant opposition of the magnetic dipole moment should be having the different types of magnetic material which should be available in ferromagnetic material now as we uh, discuss the four types of magnetic materials over here we uh, will revise some parts regarding with that one in a diamagnetic material we have uh, studied that or, or discussed that the permanent dipoles are absent the arrangement of that dipole moments are not applicable and the interaction between the neighboring dipole is also not applicable in a paramagnetic material, the permanent magnetic dipoles are present. The structure of that paramagnetic material is shown in this figure. And the interaction between the neighboring dipoles is zero or negligible. In a ferromagnetic material, the permanent dipole moments are present. The arrangement of magnetic dipole moments are in the same direction which are parallel with each other and the interaction of neighboring dipoles is totally depends upon the uh, parallel structure to the each other. In antiferromagnetic material the permanent dipoles are present. The arrangement of antiferromagnetic material is such a way that the magnetic dipole moments are opposed to the each other and the interaction between neighboring dipoles is the antiparallel orientation of equal moments. The last one that is nothing but the ferromagnetic material. The structure of that ferromagnetic material is shown in this figure at uh, figure number 3. The permanent dipole moments are present and the arrangement of dipole moments is uh, having the opposite directions with parallel nature and the interaction between the neighboring dipoles is nothing but the anti-parallel orientation of unequal moment. The ferromagnetic material. So some ceramic materials exhibit net magnetization. Uh, for example, Fe3O4, NiFe2O4, etc. Now, in this type of magnetic field, the dipoles of a cation may lines up with the field, while the dipoles of other cation may not. Now these ceramics are called as ferrite and the effect is known as ferrimagnetism. The ferrimagnetism is similar to antiferromagnetism in that the spins of different atoms or ions 
lines up with anti parallel however the spins do not cancel with each other and net spin moment should be expressed now in a paramagnetic material the dipoles of cations may be lined up with the field as shown in the figure while the dipoles of other cations may not this type of behavior or structure should be called as ferrites and the effect or the material which effect this type of behavior is known as ferrimagnetism the ferrimagnetism is similar to that of anti ferrimagnetism which shows that the spins of different atoms or ions lines up with anti parallel nature however the spins those who not cancel with each other and the resultant spin and the resultant spin moment of that particular structure or atom should be exist now below the mean temperature the ferromagnetic materials behave very much like ferromagnetic materials and are paramagnetic above the mean temperature as we know the magnetic material should be depends upon the temperature you know below the mean temperature the ferromagnetic materials behaves very much like ferromagnetic material and above the mean temperature the ferromagnetic material behaves as an paramagnetic material these materials exhibit a large but field dependent magnetic susceptibility similar to ferromagnet the ferromagnetic materials it should be shows a large but field dependent magnetic susceptibility as similar to ferromagnet the ferromagnetic materials also show the curious law behavior as these ceramics are good insulators electrical losses are minimum and hence the ferrets have lot of applications in the device such as high frequency transformers other applications so the ferromagnetic material materials which are and behaves according to uh, the temperature structure should be depends upon the field dependent magnetic susceptibility as similar to ferromagnets and they also show the curious behavior as these ceramics are very good insulators with minimum electrical losses and having the ferrets with lots of applications in the high frequency transform So uh, up to this part, we will be end over here. Mm -hmm. The remaining part we will discuss in next session.